why is it important that there's many people in this room who aren't familiar with this world. Why is it important they know something about carers? Because I think at any time in our lives, we're either going to be a carer or we're going to be cared for. And carers often don't even recognise that they are carers. By carers, we're talking about um, unpaid family members, friends, neighbours, caring for someone with maybe a disability or an illness or a chronic condition. My mother, my late mother, had a stroke. Millions of people have strokes. And from being a vital, enthusiastic, rumbustious woman, she became someone who could not speak, who could not move, and who needed 24-hour care. And this was something that my father and I had to give because this was in 1970, and really the, even the word carer hadn't yeah. come into public uh, consciousness. And I was young and trying to make a living as an actress. My father was a very busy doctor. And you know, it was an extraordinary thing. But all our friends disappeared overnight. When she fell ill, they disappeared. And was that partly because she could no longer speak and that was just too confronting for people? Yes, I think one of the problems is that we find chronic illness embarrassing. And you know, I can only say to you, get over it. Get over it. People dribble, get over it. Uh, we have to deal with that. People mess themselves, get over it. Uh, we've got to deal with those facts of life. So tell us a little bit about your dad. Um, he was someone who found expressing his emotions very, very hard. And I think that's something that probably happens anyway to people who are dealing with that situation. Uh, we just found it too much. So we, we looked after mummy, but we, n we never talked to each other about it. Now I know that that was wrong and that one must be able to talk. I think it was partly because we were so, she was the center of our life. She was the center of our family. And when she was, felled by this terrible stroke. It was so much to deal with for us that we just didn't know what to do. But when you say you give up your whole heart and soul, that's what carers do. They give up their whole heart and soul, they give up their life. But what you do get back, so that we don't feel that it's all a complete tragedy, what you do get back is that incredible sense of satisfaction, a glow of knowing that you're making a difference. I ask you please to thank Miriam Margulies. Well.